Hey guys, check it out. It's a four channel relay tutorial video here with a Raspberry Pi Model A Plus and a couple jumper cables. So first thing to say is this is obviously a Raspberry Pi Model A Plus. You can find links to this and everything else you see in this video in the about section below. It's got an 802.11n wireless card attached to it already. And in here, which you can't quite see, is a micro SD card. That micro SD card already is running a version of Raspbian and it's updated and upgraded fully. So for those of you who've seen my eight channel relay tutorial, this kind of builds on that. I've noticed I've added a link to the eight channel relay on Amazon and most people are going through and then buying a four channel relay. So I thought I would just update this video Give you something with a, a more modern piece. A lot of people are asking if the stuff also works with A pluses or B pluses. And of course they do, but hey, might as well give you a little quick show. So uh, what we're gonna do first is plug in the Raspberry Pi to the relay board. Uh, and if you've already seen this, you can skip ahead to the software section. So I'm just uh, doing my best, although I keep missing that one, to line these up. Without twists, now oh, I can see. Now the reason I leave these metal sides facing out is in case there's a problem, I can test these individual there we go. I can test these individual outsides uh, using my multimeter. Okay, so just here, I've lined that up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set them up into my Raspberry Pi Model A Plus. So the first thing to note is that, I'm just gonna make sure that focuses for you. There we go. VCC is white, so that will be here. Now what I've got just off camera, I'm just going to uh, give it a quick cut here. As you can see here, I've got my trusty MacBook Air and I'm looking at the GPIO circuit diagram. So the GPIOs tell me which I should connect to, and as I know that this relay board, the four channel relay board runs on five volts, uh, I'm going to connect the white to five volt. At the opposite end, I'm just going to connect this one to ground, which is pin three. All right, and these are my cables left over. Now, in no particular order, I'm just going to start putting them down. I say in no particular order. They are in a particular order. I like to do this without putting any twists in the cable. So I'm just gonna unplug this one here and fit these in. So I'm looking for GPIO 2, 3, 4, and 17. So that's two, that's three, that's four, and that's seventeen. And then just to do it again, just reattaching the power. Oh, I've actually made a mistake here. 17 is not, it goes two, three, four, space, 17. Okay, double check again. So now I'm just looking, I have my power on switch one, which, sorry, that's number two, GPIO two, 
It's correct. Ground is pin six, correct. And on the other side, pin three is my GPIO two. Pin five is GPIO three. Pin seven is GPIO four. There's a space for ground. And then GPIO 17 is pin 11. It's correct. Okay, so this is all lined up and I'm ready to boot. Okay, so the Raspberry Pi here is booting up. Again, I'm running wireless uh, 802.11n, so that means that I don't need an Ethernet cable, but I am attached wirelessly. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to my Mac here using SSH. So if you guys at home uh, have a, a Windows-based computer, of course, you'll have to... I'm just going to put my password in so you can't see it here. There you go. So if you guys are using Windows at home, you'll need to install a program called PuTTY. If you're using a Mac, you'll already have Terminal. And of course, if you're using Linux, there's a variety of Terminal, terminal and Console programs available for you uh, to get started. Now, I'm just pressing up here to go back through as I've already uh, checked these scripts out. But sudo python script1.py is the first script that I'll be running. So I'm just going to initiate that now. So you notice there that the light sequence went off incorrectly. That tells me that I've done something wrong. So I'm just going to go ahead and start to figure that out, and I'll be back with you in a second. So you can understand now why I like to use this script to run first. As it goes through, it should illuminate in order, and if it doesn't, that tells me that something's gone wrong. Again, there's a problem. Three and four didn't light up correctly. I'm pretty sure I've got these in correctly, so there must be a problem with my GPIOs. I'll be back in a minute as I figure it out. Hey guys, I just want to show you, you know, as I, as I problem solve, just like you would, um, one, two is working, three is failing, and four is working. And I needed a little adjustment in my code uh, so that the timer stayed on on four, but it was always working. Uh, but three isn't, so just to, so you can follow along with what I'm doing here, I'm just going to, uh, I've got an extra jumper cable here. My first assumption is that there's something wrong with the jumper cable, so I'm just going to... Uh, just going to carefully pull out just number two here. Uh, sorry, I, I say number two. Uh, I've actually done the numbers. So I'm just going to pull out number three here. There's number three out. And I'm going to pull it out on this side as well. Just making sure I have the colors correct. I'm just going to pull that out and I'm just going to rewire it with a spare cable here. See if I haven't done something wrong. There we go. Another effort. Let's see what happens now. One correct, two correct, four. Well, what do you know? So the problem that I was having was actually based on one of these jumper cables being a dud. Again, this is why you should buy them in very large packs. Uh, for some reason, that this, uh, this cable is a dud. But that shouldn't stop us from continuing on. Uh, let's just run this Python script one, one more time. Fantastic. All right, moving on. Uh, let's do uh, script number two here. T 
to exit this script, we're going to do Control C as I quit it. Script number three. Let's do script number three again. Just a nice little pattern, flicking back and forth, using uh, different types of available code. And script number four. So script number four is using a count, but only using one of the relays. Just so you guys know, this runtime warning, the channel is already in use, continuing anyways. That means that this script isn't finishing cleanly, but that's okay. We can just ignore that warning if we want, using GPIO set warning false, or we can just leave it there happening. And finally, we're just going to do script number five. Now, script number five is a different type of, of script. Script number five just turns one of the relays on. That's it. That's all that it does. It does nothing else. To turn it off, we're going to use a different script, 5A. So let's just go back and do that again. 5 turns it on, and 5A turns it off. The interesting thing about using that script, say number 5, is that we can start to control it in other ways. One of the ways that I like to do it is to use a web browser. So now I can use a web browser. Let's just refresh this. This is just calling the IP address I already know works. What I can do is I can control a single relay What I'm doing here, this is a PHP document, and that PHP document is just launching that Python script we saw earlier. So on the left, we're launching script 5, and on the right, we're launching 5A. Now you guys may have seen in my other videos, I like to do this often demoing on my mobile phone, but it's exactly the same thing. I'm just running a web browser, and I use bigger buttons, so they're easier to see. But this time, I'm not going to use bigger buttons. I'm just going to leave them default. And uh, you guys should be able to customize it on your own. Well, that's it for today, guys. Don't forget you can subscribe, like, and share. If you found my video particularly useful, of course, you can buy me a coffee using the Donate button in the About section below. You can find all the source code for everything we've done today and all the projects that I list. Check out some of my other projects. There's some pretty cool stuff that I'm up to at the minute, including turning on and off lights, opening and closing garage doors using relays, and my favorite project, my alarm pie. Don't forget there's other relay tutorial videos, including the eight channel relay video, and look for a soon coming how to initiate a relay. What I'll be doing is going through the different ways that we can start the relay, including this website idea that I've got here, and using some of the other things like PIR sensors. Look for that soon. Thanks again for watching. If you have any comments or questions, don't forget to post them below. It's always best when we share the work that we're doing. And if you guys come up with any cool projects using this tutorial as the basis, I'd love for you to share them with me and the rest of the group. Thanks very much. More soon.